受講者のレベルが異なる時のアークスモデルの使い方のコツがあれば教えてくださいあ,あ Yes, the key for using the ARCS model when the levels of the audience are different. I am frequently asked this question. The answer is, is to do different analyses for each different group within your audience. In the motivational design worksheet in the book that gives guidelines for doing audience analysis, it asks you, is your audience homogenous or are there different subgroups? And if you have different subgroups, you would do a different analysis. For example, some of the people in your class might be there because it's uh, required. They have to be there. Maybe other people are volunteers. They will have a different attitude from those for whom it's required. You can do an analysis of each of those groups and then find strategies to use to bridge the two groups together. Also, they could differ in terms of uh, entry-level knowledge and skills. In my instructional systems design class at Florida State University, Some of the students would be young people, just finished their undergraduate degree, and have almost no experience. Some of the other students would be highly experienced, members from the Australian Army, the United States Coast Guard, uh, experience in business and industry and training. Even though it was an introductory course, all of these people would be in the same class. So I did a separate analysis for each group and to determine how I can make it relevant. I also said, how can I bridge, you know, build bridges between the two groups? So I would have the, uh, because the, one of the challenges, motivational challenges was that the younger people did not feel confident. How can I learn this material and get a good grade with these other people who have so much experience? And so I would do two things. First, by doing the analysis and knowing that this was a problem, I would explain to the young people, this class is for beginners. I've taught it for many years. You will be able to learn this content and learn it well. We are fortunate, and here's where I would bridge to bring in the experienced people. We are fortunate because we have these people with experience, and you will be able to get just as good a grades as they do. However, they will be able to help us with their experience. They will be able to provide examples and other things that you can learn from to find out what challenges they faced in actually doing this work. So I think by using the analysis process to investigate the different subgroups within your audience and then designing strategies to meet the needs of each subgroup as well as bringing the two subgroups together or three subgroups or four, however many you have, that is how you can adapt to the different groups within the audience.